tight end work his way into the end zone. They've been running end set up to the right of the line. That's Hayes in motion. A little waggle by Breisbach. Wide open! I mean, wide open! Touchdown, Chris Howard! Michigan is on the scoreboard! He told me earlier this week he was working on a new package for Michigan. And we saw it right there. Remy Hamilton into a tenth of field goal from 49 yards out. Got enough leg, and it's good. Hamilton splitting the uprights, putting Michigan up by 10 points. He struggled all during warm-up. Pretty good half by Scott Dreisbach. Yeah, five attempts in comparison to 52 all of last week. Bianca Batuka is the lone back. Play fake. Dreisbach has Hayes open. Mercury Hayes. Still not down. He's out of bounds. But he's out of bounds at the 34. The official whistling it back at the 34-yard line. Luckily so for Illinois. The thing that turned the game around last week against Virginia was the two deep passes that Dreisbach threw. He hit Toomer with one, he hit Hayes with one. You can see the kid has a good arm and a nice touch on the deep ball. Watch him play action. They ran the ball most of the first half. They come out, play action, and go deep right away. Cover two. The safety was out of position. Antoine Patton was concerned with the inside receiver. Hayes was out alone on the sideline, ran by Dwayne Lyle, and a big play to start the second half for the Wolverines. Boy, that was really close when he was tiptoeing down the sidelines, too. A 46-yard gain by the Wolverines, striking quickly. A waggle now, and the throwback. Again, wide open. Reimersma, complete, pardon me, tumor at the five. Todd, that's a play we've seen called a few times today now. You're taking advantage of the aggressive defense. We've Perfect seen. throw by Scott Dreisbach all the way back across the field. You have to love the way he's spreading it around. And now they run it. Bianca Batuka's in the house. Touchdown, Wolverines. The silence even more deafening than it was earlier here at Memorial Stadium. The Wolverines are pitching a shutout them exactly 19 seconds to score is that a wake-up call oh yeah I think so special team still playing a big part in this ball game a two wings set and a fumble Michigan has it Holcomb coughed it up and put it on the ground and the Wolverines will have the ball at the 27 yard line things unraveling just a touch here for Illinois Charles Woodson recovered the loose ball. Well, Holcomb is trying to get the extra yards. They've got a good situation with second and two. You can see it looks like he's going to be able to get the first down. As he lowers the head right there, a helmet comes in. I think it was Rob Sweat got his helmet on the football, and Charles Woodson was able to come up with it. And that's a big break. It took them three plays to score last time. They hand it off to Bianca Batuka, bouncing it outside. Bianca Batuka. Down to the 11-yard line, and a first down for the Wolverines. Antoine Patton making the tackle from his free safety Looked spot. Like he would be okay coming off the field, but as you mentioned, Mark, he's the defensive signal caller for the Illini. Here's Bianca Batuka. You know, he's explosive, and he scores again. Michigan tacks on another one. And the Wolverines are putting a big silencer on this crowd. If there was any one particular thing that stood out about Bianca Batuka last year, it was his ability to run in the red zone. Watch the double team. Reimersma gets a good block on Simeon Rice. Marinero comes around and gets a big block. And the game, he gave them an added spark. Yeah. All the way from north of the border. Hey, they got football in Quebec, folks. Second down, nine to go. Double wing set left for Illinois. Johnson under pressure and sacked back at the 20-yard line. That Michigan front four yeah. getting stronger seemingly as the day goes on. All at the 39-yard line, 13.08 to play in the third period. Johnson with time this time. Downfield, complete at the 22-yard line to Marquise Mosley. And a big... The you mentioned earlier, them having to stretch that defense vertically. Play fake, the waggle. Johnson sacked back at the 32 number 96 William Carr hitting like a truck that time 
12-10 remaining in the third quarter. Second down and 20 for Illinois. Safety blitz. Johnson, good escapability. On the run, like a fugitive, and sacked back at the 47-yard line. And a fumble, Michigan has the ball. Michigan has the ball. Jason Horn made the hit, and Simmons had the recovery. Mark, this is just a case of a quarterback trying to make something happen. Now, when he eludes the rush, right now he should throw the ball to his tailback, Will Smith. See him number two? He doesn't do it now. He's a little tired. He's trying to take it back across the grain, and Jason Horn is there to make the play and strip the ball out. Johnny Johnson, right now, today, they are minus four. The run up the middle by the Wolverines. Down to the 36-yard line. That's Bianca Matuka, who has come in here the second. 48 remaining in the third quarter. Michigan in control. Miyaka Batuka. Boy, look at him dance. Look at him go. He's doing the running man, folks. That's the name of it. Touchdown, Michigan. Dwayne Lyle missed a tackle, and Miyaka Batuka made him pay the ultimate price. A 35-yard scamper to Paters. 30 to nothing for the Wolverines. Bianca Batuka, we talked about how he can run in the red zone. Take a look at him here as he's going to get through here. He's going to make a great move on Tyrone Washington. Watch the cut right here on Kevin Hardy, number 51, and then it's straight to the goal line. As soon as he knows he's got a crease, he goes straight north. Johnson throwing an interception. Michigan coming out to begin the second half of play. Scoring two touchdowns in less than a minute, and Johnson is sacked once again back at the 25-yard line, this time by Glenn Steele. All right, John, back here, 13-10, remaining a block punt. Michigan got to it. More special teams were touchdown Wolverines. Oh, you talk about room service. Serve it up. Anthony Williams with the block and the recovery. Take a bow, Michigan Wolverine special teams. Take a look now, Anthony Williams is going to come unblocked from the corner. They weren't even trying for a block, but nobody picked him up, so he went ahead and tried for the block. He got it. Now watch him just steal the ball away from the punter, Larson. Larson is not real aggressive going after the football. Williams is. Touchdown, Michigan. Michigan dominating Illinois. You want special teams? You got it from Michigan today. We'll be right back. Fourth down situation. On the option, the pitch, Will Smith. Is he in? The official was knocked down. I think he scored, but I'm not sure if I the thought official was able to see it or not because he was looking to see what the guy was coming into his legs. I thought Smith got into the end. Two touchdowns in less than a minute in the fourth quarter. Weaver scrambling, looking into the end zone. Touchdown, Illinois. Lenny Willis making the catch. They're looking pretty good out there. They got a little bit of flavor on those things, yeah. Pass completed the 39-yard line. Hey, I like this. Tyrone Butterfield. Three guys. Tackled at the eight-yard line. Butterfield reversing Butterfield field nicely and adding about 20 yards onto the run after the catch. Brought down by Powell. Greasy let him throw the football, and he was able to do that. I don't think he's trying to pour it on here at all. As you can see, Greasy's going to go to a knee. They're not even going to try to score any more points. Ryan Greasy wants to take the team in the end zone, but this is kind of a classy move, I think, by Lloyd Carr. What blue temperament, and he let his counterpart know it, and you can see the mutual respect right there. Thrifty Car Rental Post Game Report coming up next. The final score, 38-14. It's all Michigan.